Hey guys, this is Andres Minov for the Fast Lane Truck and Kent with MrTruck.com. And Kent, I have a very simple question: gas or diesel? That is a simple question, and I want to know which one do I want to buy, which one's going to pay off. And we have two trucks just to answer this question: 2017 GMC Canyon Denali with a diesel, mm -hmm. and 2017 Chevy Colorado with a 3.6. V6 gas motor. Yes, that's a good, good comparison. This is going to be interesting. How about we do two tests? Acceleration and drag race mm -hmm. and an MPG test on the highway. Well, that's important and we'll know the answer. Okay. For our towing MPG loop, we're using the same truck stop and the same double click fill up procedure as always, but we're using an abbreviated 66 mile highway loop for this direct head to head comparison. But here's the thing dude, you're paying at least $3,700 for the diesel. Right, which is, you know, it seems high, at but least. it's not. At least. Compare that to a heavy duty, it might be eight to 11,000. Yeah. So we're looking at small and numbers. Option there. for option between the diesel and the V6, you may be paying a little bit more because GM is actually wants you to buy an option truck for that's, the diesel. That's true. They don't want you to buy the cheap one, the base model. They want you to buy that high end model before they let you have the diesel. Yeah. All right, Mr. Truck, how much is diesel? It is only $2.28 and nine hundredths of a cent. <laughs> hey, look at that, look at that. It's a death tank cap and it's not under the hood. What the hell's going on here? Can we fill it up with biodiesel? I haven't read the manual. Like Probably 20, about 10% or something. Yeah, like yeah, biodiesel, is that like the other one is 80%? They get up to 20% a lot of them. Oh, you gotta wait okay. 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds. Just one click or two clicks? One. All right, here we go. Okay. In this Baby Duramax 2.8 four cylinder, it's 181 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. That's a lot of torque coming out of a four cylinder. That's where the fuel mileage comes from. Under the hood of the Chevy Colorado is a brand new 3.6 liter V6 with an 8-speed automatic backing it up. This engine produces 308 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque. They completely redesigned this engine to boost the power just a little bit and this is one quick mid-size pickup truck. So here's how we do this test. We just got filled up at the truck stop, yes. we get on the highway and we're towing at 70 miles an hour. Okay. Okay. So you gotta get on the highway in the normal manner. We're not racing. Right. We're also not hypermiling. What's a hypermile? Hypermiling is where you do special things to increase your fuel economy. Oh, okay. And you want me to go to 70? Yep. Our mid-sized truck test trailer is the CM Stalker. It's 14 feet long, six feet wide, just the right size for a mid-sized truck. We've got it loaded to 6,100 pounds, about 600 pounds of tongue weight, which is right where we need it. This is what we're doing all of our mid-size testing with. What's the maximum capacity of this truck? Well, wise? this is the best tower of the mid-size group. For the 4x4, that, that's this one. Right. It's 7,600 pounds. Okay. But we're testing both trucks on the same day, sure, sure. same time. So we're trying to eliminate as many um, in, uh, variables as possible. Yeah, and we got the sway control hooked up on the Gen Y. Yeah. We're just doing hitch, so we're trying to control some of the wind and sway with that as well as, well as the trailer. The hitch we're using on our test vehicles is this Gen Y adjustable hitch. We've also added the Gen Y weight distributing hitch with say sway control and we needed that. We've had high wind conditions out here and this has been a really stable truck and trailer through the wind. Let me do one more test on this sound meter, okay? Okay. This is about the place where we always do our sound check. Boy, 64.1. Yeah, that's, that's whisper. Yeah, because you know we that's did this on the Ike Garland. Yeah. And, and of course this was quieter than gas. We'll do it now, see where it's at. But that was up a hill pulling and in some cases wide open throttle. Well, here we're just kind of idling along mm -hmm. at say 1750 RPM. So I mean, it's, you can't hear it running hardly. No, and it's a really comfortable truck. When you're going long distance, you don't want a loud truck that's beating you up. Well, sure, right? sure. I mean, this is a high dollar. It's got 20 inch rims. It's got 
chrome side steps. I mean, this yeah. this is done to the nines. A good looking grill, by golly. Yeah. All right, well, let's get back to the pump and check our fuel mileage, all right? All righty. Let's make that loop. Okay, here we go. Click two. Holy moly, 12.7? 12.7, that's not bad. And this is an age-old question. Which pickup truck is faster? I have the V6 Gas Colorado, and what do you have? I have the inline four Duramax diesel and my sexy beast GMC Canyon. It's torque versus horsepower, and the drag race is coming up right now. I'm gonna kick his butt. Saying smoke him off the line. Yes, I'm ready. turkey oh now I'm just walking away from him huh yes victorious 7.930 to 60 time that's incredible that's actually really fast for a mile above sea level what did you do I don't know, probably a little bit off, but it says, uh, I think it says 10.30 minutes. <laughs> you smoked me off the line, but my Colorado just pulled ahead and won the race. Yeah, halfway down the thing. I, I smoked you so bad off the line, but if we had trailers on there, I would have smoked you all the way down the line. You couldn't have even gotten near me. If I had a trailer on there and you had a trailer, you know that? system wow all right do you need money i think so give me all your cards what octane are we using we're going to do what chevy recommends and go with 87 that's what it says in the owner's manual so we're going to comply all right what's the price on 87 these days doesn't matter oh, it's 239.9 so we're almost 240. so actually it's a little bit more expensive than the diesel that we did in the gmc yes indeed 228 versus 239 for the 87 octane. All right, that's let's do it. 11 cents, that's actually a pretty big premium you're paying. See? Point number two. That was quite a bit. We should have actually measure that because I think it's like a quarter of a gallon. A third. Really? You think it's Probably that a third. Okay, let's reset the computer. Okay. And let's go on our highway MPG loop. Onward and upward. Is it worth getting the diesel over the V6? Right, that's what's what you got to calculate. So you got, you know, you know the 37. Are you racing? Where are you racing to? I'm not racing yet anywhere. I'm doing the same acceleration I did before. This is a louder engine. Okay. The diesel was quiet. Well, we're gonna measure that. Okay. All right. Are you going 70? I'm doing 71. I'm trying to narrow it down to 70. There we are. All right. So let's measure the sound real quick. 66.4. And that was pretty we're, high, that was about 3,300 RPM. Okay. And we were at 64 decibels in the diesel, uh -huh. 66 in this gas motor. See, that's not a bad so, difference. Maybe. Not a huge difference, but noticeable, right? I'm noticing something peculiar. 4,500 4, RPM is on level ground? Yeah, well, I mean, we're fighting the same wind yeah. that we did in the diesel, right. but the diesel took it much easier. It did a, you know, it did it as if it was nothing happening. Right, it was less than 2,000 RPM. That's yeah. the torque of the diesel. It just chugs along like a choo-choo train. And this, look at this, are you at 4,500? 4, 4,500 RPM and it's loud. Holy moly. That's the difference between, you know, a gas pulling a load and a diesel pulling a load. Okay. 6,100 pounds, but you can definitely tell the difference. And we're going to use a little bit more fuel, I fear. I think in, so. In this one. Okay. 
Well, Chevy tells us we had to use 87 octane. That's what it says in the manual, and we're going to follow the rules. We're going to put 87 octane in this truck. Maybe that'll okay. help power. Maybe that'll help fuel economy. All right. And can you go over our filling up procedure? Well, that's pretty simple. You throw money at it, you lift up this, push in the 87 octane button. Not that. Oh, I'm sorry. You know the time. You know, we <laughs> fill it up, and then we wait 30 seconds, right? Well, well, I thought that was something we talked about when we were getting close to being full. That's what we do. We stick the nozzle in the hall. Okay. And after it clicks off the first time, we wait 30 seconds right. and wait for the next click. So we're a two click procedure here. Click! There's wow. our double click. That was almost 0.4 gallons right there. Holy, really? Yeah, that's, I was looking at that. That's a lot more than I thought it would be. It's almost a half a gallon. So maybe it right, does so, settle somewhat because that's so quite a bit. So what's the damage here? It is 7.5 gallons. 7.586. And we're running a, a shorter loop, 66 mile loop. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's do the calculation. Okay. Whoa, that's a big difference. 8.7. Well. Do you see that? Yeah. The diesel was at 12.7. Yes, I know. That's four I MPGs? Know. Yeah. Well, that's how it goes. You can tell that that diesel wasn't struggling at all. This one, we were running 4,500 RPMs a lot on our way back up. Wow. So this engine was working. Well, that's just uh, the matter of where your peak torque is, where your peak horsepower Exactly, are. yeah. When that torque is down at the bottom end, you're not struggling at all. You're, you've got all that backup power. And this one here, it's giving all she's got. So we did two tests, right? Right. The V6 gas motor was so much faster in a drag race and a zero to 60. Yeah, you beat me all right. I killed you. He beat okay. me all right. All right, diesel uh -huh. killed the gas engine in MPG's towing, right? Oh, whipped its butt, yeah. Yep, 12.7 here for the diesel, 8.7 for the gas motor. That's a big difference. That is. So I ran the numbers, right? And if we say that diesel fuel and gas fuel cost the same, yeah. let's just make that assumption, okay? <laughs> um, the results we came up with, the difference in MPGs, it would take around 46,000 miles to pay off the diesel. That's true, that's very believable. I That's what I came to that conclusion about a year ago, just doing my calculations when it first came out, it made sense to me. Okay, and that's mm -hmm. only if you're towing the whole time, right? Yeah, yeah. People don't do that. Right. So let's say you have mixed driving conditions. So it would probably be around, you know, 70 or 80,000 miles. You could actually pay off the diesel versus that's comparing those epa mileage yeah that's yeah 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 and that, that's true that's kind of how it is all depends on how you use the truck so in summary if you want a quick truck get the gas motor right right if, if you, you want a sexy beast you get the diesel but <laughs> and an efficient truck too <laughs> yeah. right yeah and that's too that's a gas equals diesel price like what we did yesterday it was 11 cents that's so even the more dramatic that's difference. going to make it pay off quicker yep so go back to tfltruck.com and mrtruck.com. Thanks, guys.